Hi, in this video, I will talk about the, I will comment on uh, the Bakara Surah 106. When we abrogate any miracle or cause it to be forgotten, we produce a better miracle or at least an equal one. So, do you not recognize that the fact that God is omnipotent? So here, <clears throat> there, there is a possibility that what mentioned as miracle is like a love of um, universe. So now there are computers, and within this world, we also believe in Quran. So Quran was so still we are um, still we are affected, and so that and also in the Quran we see that there are many verses, and they were exposed, such as Big Bang Theory. They were they were uh, they revealed. So this is like before it doesn't have any much meaning. You know, you 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 think that this is a metaphor. It's, it's not like like a not in real name, so they interpret interpret it quite differently. So now, um, so that uh, here God, God says that when we abrogate any miracle. So for example, in in one surah, we see we see that some prophets like Solomon they have uh, such big uh, skills, such great uh, such um, uh, great skills. And now we we have uh, we hold similar skills like, and then but still there are things in the Quran that that hasn't so we we still unable to achieve them. So it's very important so that there are still things that mention in the Quran. So it shows that Quran is such a deep deep uh, book. And so for example now for we don't know uh, if we can move one object, transport one object to the, another. Play. So it says with the current physics, then technology, it's not possible. So interestingly, it was possible before in, in only one community, but now uh, it's not still not available. Uh, and uh, so if it, it, it is revealed in the future, then it will be like a common thing maybe, like people can use this as a way of transportation. So some people use that like scientific developments to disprove God. And it is, it is so ridiculous. And the scientific facts are not uh, like that, you know, they're not like, uh, they, they help you to produce something and it spoils some people. And they start to think that they're superior and they're better than the previous generation. They have a higher IQ or something like that, but we, we still not sure we have better intelligence than the previous generations. And we, we still don't know that we, we are like wiser, but we only know that we have more accumulated knowledge. But this accumulated knowledge makes us better person is just unclear. So that's important. Like that's uh, that's also ironic that you know nowadays people are not actually that better. So still there is a war. Still there is a war going on between countries. Like uh, Israel attacks country and then uh, a country and then uh, so can kill many innocent people and they are quite knowledgeable people. They have high IQ but they still can do this. It shows that this is not about on. It's not only about uh, uh, intelligence, or it's not about the accumulated knowledge, or it's not about the literature, or scientific facts. It's also it's all, uh, sort of about being a good and bad, and that's what God wants. So, the universe currently provides us such opportunity to such thing to um, show yourself, and then you can commit a crime, and you can do bad things too. So it's a great test place, and uh, you can use internet to do many bad things. And there are also verses that may be uh, referring to internet, development of the internet. So in the world, I, I personally don't know any book that uh, refer to such future events and then such accepted by such people and uh, such uh, emotionally deep. And beautifully written so there's no such book so if if the atheists or, or other agnostics just yeah they, they should also you know they should read it really carefully and before uh, deciding uh, about it so uh, I'm saying it objectively and if they are trying to uh, after searching for the truth and they should uh, so they should di dive deeper and they should learn it uh, and and, and, and there is another thing that in the Quran we see that and there are verses that uh, make you think that 
put you, you know, led you to the wrong direction. And it's up to you. If you are a good person, you don't go to those directions. If you are a good person, then you pick the right, uh, right meaning. And so God leads you to the right direction. So people who do not believe, people who are bad and they don't want universal moral laws, they criticize Quran harshly. But they, you know, they, but this uh, because they're inside, they're not that good, and they should really uh, tell themselves that I want to. They should be honest with themselves, and they should try to find the truth, and they should be a good person, and so that God will lead them hopefully to the right path. So that's all I want to mention in this video, and thanks for watching this video, and hope to see you in the next video. And my interpretation may be like uh, uh, not the final one and then there must be different explanations of the verse and god knows better and thanks again